It is Halloween and fall all together at Home Works, and boy, do I have a haul for you all today. <laughs> Super excited to share with you all these new candles from Home Works. <laughs> As y'all can see, we got sent some big old boxes here, and we got a lot of newness to discuss. So, yeah, let's get on into it, y'all. So as you all may have seen, as I did post about it, but there has been a lot of newness and sales and things happening over at Homeworks because yeah, Halloween candles are out and fall candles. There's also a dash of the Christmas in July that's still happening as well. So basically we have moved on from spring to summer period, just all the way around. <laughs> Although you still can get some of those since they are discounted on the website, at least last time I checked they were. But of course, definitely check for different promotions. Check my community tab, because you know I'm always posting something about it. Mm -hmm. For those that may be new here, yes, I am a Homeworks affiliate and these candles were kindly sent over to me from the brand to review and talk to you all about. If you all know, I do post burn reviews on any brand of candles that I burn, it does not matter, but definitely check those out. I have a whole playlist for you all. We have almost 100 episodes of post burn reviews, so check that out. As always, lipstick of the day today, I am in my summer mood right now. This is from MAC. And this is kind of sexy lipstick, which a peachy nude type of color. Oldie but goodie. Definitely let me know what you think about it. As always, it'll be in the description box. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. And oh, this is sexy. And it's new. I recently hauled it in my last fragrance haul. This is from Navitas Parfums. And this is Ambrosia Imperial. You all know the story. I had a decan of it sent to me by one of you all, the lovely elves. And yeah, it got upgraded to a full size bottle in a matter of two weeks. This stuff is good. It's banana, it's saffron, it's a whole lot of other stuff. But yes, full dedicated review will be happening on Ambrosia Imperial. Now let's get into these candles. <laughs> First candle up, you all. By the way, all of these are available on the Homeworks website or they will be eventually available. I have to say that because yes, things are constantly rolling out, things sell out. So yes, definitely check that website again. So first candle I wanna talk about, this is a four wick candle. This one is called Midnight Moon. And based on the label and the write up of it, I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it's Halloween. <laughs> I had looked at them briefly, but oh, it was so much to unpack. I was like, let me film this for the elves right now because I know they want to see these. So let's talk about it. First candle up, Midnight Moon. And look at the label, it looks very, very spooky. There's bats flying around on it too. So, okay, yes, yeah, Halloween. So let's talk about the notes. We have notes of autumn leaves, fresh pumpkin, dark woods, and ginger crystals. All right white wax so you all can see because i know some people love their color waxes i know oh i get the like autumn clove in this so this is definitely autumn spice type of a scent i like this let me see here let me read the notes again so autumn leaves fresh pumpkin dark with ginger crystals mm -hmm. yeah peak fall which i mean this is a halloween candle so to me midnight moon is definitely october where we are smack dab into fall not no almost heading into not no transition it's fall <laughs> so midnight moon i'm excited to burn but alas being that it is a halloween candle honest truth y'all i will not be burning this one until october so definitely check this one out and stay tuned to the channel for its post burn review Homeworks Midnight Moon. Next candle, what do we have here? Oh, I'm looking at the lid. This is definitely Halloween as well. And this is Possessed Plum. <laughs> Looks super smoky and all the purpley and plum colors on here in the trees. It's giving Haunted Forest and it's actually a mood right now. So Possessed Plum, we have notes of Black Plum, Wicked Cherry, Spellbinding Incense, and Patchouli. Okay, I'm here for the spellbinding, bounding and all that. Hmm. Oh, I do like this. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. This is giving perfume. It's giving a luxury perfume. It's the patchouli in it that's making it give more of a fragrance vibe. So, okay, this one's gonna be a little spicy and it's dash sexy. So definitely an evening candle. I like it. Mmm. I like possessed plum. This is evening time. This is giving Halloween date night, if that makes any kind of sense. Which, to be fair, couples do dress up and go to Halloween parties together, so I can totally see this being a scent for that. <laughs> I'm still trying to convince the head of to dress up this year for Halloween. Hopefully he'll do it, because I mean, at that point, come Halloween, we'll be married by the end, so you know, we'll see what happens, y'all. <laughs> but yes, uh, what's this possessed plum? I think this is really good on cold. This one is gonna be a high thrower and a high burner. I'm excited about it. Okay. Possessed Plum, I'm excited about. So I can't wait to burn that one. But of course, Halloween candle. So post burn review will be in October. I realized.
guys, I did not show you all the wax, but check it out, y'all, because this plum is a purple wax, because, uh, yeah, it's going all the way into this purple and plum thing. So for my colored wax people, possessed plum is one you do want. Next candle we have, let's see, this one. Oh, this is a returning favorite for sure. This is a true fall candle, y'all. Let's talk about this one. This is Harvest Leaves. And I'm so happy to have Harvest Leaves and I'm gonna tell you why. Last year, I tried to get Harvest Leaves after hearing from the Homeworks OGs that this is a favorite. You gotta get it because it always sells out. Well, I decided after a delay to go ahead and log on and get it. Oh, it was gone and it did not restock. So yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen this year because I really wanted to try this candle and see what the hype is all about. And yeah, let's see, I'm already loving the label. Check this out right here. Look at that full on leaves. Oh, that's so pretty. So harvest leaves, let's talk about the notes. We have notes of spiced pumpkin, mandarin, cranberry, fir balsam, and apple wood. Yep, we have pretty color wax. Let's get into it. Look at that red wax, just similar to the label. So I'm digging it. Oh, that's good. This is really good. Okay, I see why everybody likes this one and buys it. I get it. Oh, this is first day of fall and burning this. That's the type of scent this is. It puts you in that harvest mode. It's giving pumpkin patch, maybe some hayride. It smells like all of that in here. I like this. Okay, I get it, I get it. I see why everybody buys it up. This is good. Harvest leaves, again, this is good. I like this one. Definitely check this one out. And we have some more candles. So now let's see what we got here. Okay, four week candle. Ah, I saw this one recently on the website. This is Wildflower Meadow. Check this one out. The label is very happy and grassy. <laughs> so we have notes of wildflowers, apple blossoms, green pear, and clove grass. Okay. Colored wax. Check it out. It's a very light green. Oh, this is like fresh and it's still a little bit of fruity in here. I would burn this right now while it's summertime. It's August when I'm filming this. Oh, this is pleasant. This is a morning candle. I like this. I do. I do. And it's a difference before we get into all the spices, pumpkin and all that. So I appreciate this scent. It's like a breakup from all of that. Let me see what I'm getting more. It's the pear. It's the green pear in here that is sticking out. So I like this. Pear lovers, definitely check out the, what's this? The Wildflower Metal Scent. Okay, I will be burning this one sooner rather than later. So you will see this one in a post burn review not too long from now. <laughs> All right, we got another candle. <laughs> so, okay, oh yes. Now this is the one I was hoping I would receive and yeah, we got it. Cause this one, uh, the name, the name, y'all understand. Elves, let's get into it. So this is Palo Santo Pumpkin. Very excited about this one and I love the label. Look at this one. <laughs> when I first heard this was coming, I was like, Please let this candle be good. Please let it be good. So let's talk about it. Notes, we have our Palo Santo, pumpkin puree, and then we have cinnamon stick and suede wood. So to me, based on the notes, particularly because of that suede wood, this is supposed to give me grown and sexy autumn, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, we have white wax in here, four wick candle. This might possibly be my favorite one. Oh, I get that Palo Santo. I'm getting that suede wood in here. I still get a little bit of that pumpkin, but oh, this is grown. This one, because of that Palo Santo, it leans slightly masculine. So for my elves, my masculine elves, yes, I have guy elves on here too. If you're looking for a fall scent for say your man cave, or my lady elves, you're trying to buy one for one of your guy friends that you know likes candles, definitely check out the Palo Santo pumpkin. Oh, this one, ooh. Head F is gonna like this. I know he is. I can just feel it. Cause he always likes the Palo Santo types of scents. So that's why I'm telling you. This one is definitely Guy Elf approved. Mm. Yeah, definitely check out the Palo Santo pumpkin. And then just based on the name and the label, I predict this one will actually sell out quick. So yeah, I'm gonna put that out there. <laughs> All right, one box down. Now let's get into the other box of candles. <laughs> All right, let's get into this second big box. So, okay. We're gonna stick with the four weeks and round these out. So let's talk about it. What do we get in here? Ooh, 
I did get this candle. I had this candle like twice last year. I'm happy to see it come back. This is the Berry Pumpkin Waffles. My elves have been with me before you all know. I have reviewed this candle before and yes, this is a good one. This is a winner. I like it. So Berry Pumpkin Waffles. We have notes of berry, pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. Ah, my foodie lovers, this is for you because it's a waffle scent. I feel like I said this in my last review of this, but it's definitely giving crunch berries, like Captain Crunch Crunch Berry cereal. <laughs> if I can find a picture of it, I'll try to insert it in here, but that is literally what this smells like to me, and it makes me so happy. <laughs> ah, it's good. Oh, it's giving me childhood. So, <laughs> in Crunch Berry cereal, in my opinion, in a candle form, that is this Berry Pumpkin Waffles candle. So, it's already a winner. I don't even have to talk about it anymore. I like it. <laughs> Next candle up, now this one is a three wick, which I did see they released new three wicks on the website recently, so falls right in line. Oh, of course, it's not fall without pumpkin spice. Come on now. Gotta have the pumpkin spice, y'all. So this is pumpkin spice in candle form. So we have notes of roasted pumpkin, cinnamon stick, ground nutmeg, and we have glazed sugar to round it out. Oh, this is sweet. Mmm, it smells like coffee, and it makes me happy. Mmm, I think no way. It doesn't have a coffee note. It doesn't. That's the only thing it's missing. But obviously, of course, we all know pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks. But to me, this is literally all of the ingredients of the pumpkin spice drink, but just minus that coffee factor. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Very gourmand. Ah, oh, that cinnamon in here. That sweetness. Okay, I like this one. Okay, I like this one. This one be burned in my kitchen. So pumpkin spice, I'm digging it. Happy to have it. Pumpkin spice from Homeworks, y'all. Then the last thing that was sent to me, this is not a candle. This is actually one of the reed diffusers, which you all know. I've talked about reed diffusers before here on the channel from Homeworks. So let's get it out. And this is the reed diffuser for perfect harvest leaves, which I just talked about the candle. So now I have the candle version of it and the reed diffuser. So the notes are actually the same, so we don't have to go there. But yeah, happy to have the reed diffusers. And this would be the one I switch out into for my studio come the fall, as of right now. So I have the summer scent. I have the coastal sands reed diffuser going right now. But yeah, come late September. Mm -hmm we'll have this one going. So happy to have the harvest leaves. And so the reed diffusers are good for people that don't want to burn a candle, but you still want to smell in your home. That's what the reed diffusers are for. So check those out. And they have a lot of different scents now too. All right, everyone, that wraps up my big old haul and all these big boxes from Homeworks. Again, thank you to the brand for sending these over to me so I can share them and review them for you all, the L's, and help you all make some informed decisions on them. Definitely use my code so you can save you some coin on that. It's always in my description box as well as I have it displayed throughout this video, of course. But as always, if you did get me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, I guess you don't want your house smelling good for fall and Halloween. Mm. But anywho, I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, else.